Oh, yo, 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 I'm back again today, guys. Today, we're going to be having another vlog. We're going to go to outer space, the universe. We're going to talk about the universe today. This is a nice little vlog about the universe. So, yo, get ready for, um, you know, if you can't handle it, you might want to get off a spaceship right now. So, I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, playing with you. Yo, you don't get five seconds because we're going there anyways, right? So, we're going to talk about the universe today. Now, what is the universe? I mean, it's a big... It's a big black thing. It's a big black mass out there somewhere, right? There's who knows what that color even is, but I feel like as human beings, we are naturally, how can I say it? We naturally colonize. We're automatically gonna move to another place and we're gonna take over another place. That's just human nature, I feel like. I feel like to explore is human nature, to always um, find new things is human nature. And at some point we're gonna have to accept that uh, technology is getting further and further advanced um, and who knows we could be very far advanced compared to some civilizations in the universe or we could be very very far um, behind in technology and with some civilizations in the universe even in our galaxy and we'll get to that in a second but um, the reason I said all that is because we have to accept that at some point even if it's not me which I think in my lifetime it probably will be, but our kids are definitely going to be in space and they're going to be exploring different planets and uh, different parts of our solar system um, and also different parts of our galaxy at some point. And so um, what do I think about that? Do I think there's other life on different planets in the universe? Of course there is. I mean, you know, it would be very, very, very hard for me to believe that with all those billions of stars and planets and suns, um, well, which is a star, but white dwarfs and black holes and things of that nature, right? All these things that are true when you look in the sky and some are just theories or whatever it might be, right? It's hard for me to believe that if there's, they know of or, you know, what they're estimating, regardless of whatever it is, everything's an estimate or everything's an estimation, right? In this world, everything's a probability so probability is is that you know for instance if you have a pack of m and m's at least one of them will be black you know it's 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 probable that it's one of them would be black and so the reason i said all that is because when i look at the stars at night and i look into the universe i see all these stars and these planets and it's very hard for me to believe that there's no other life um or in anywhere in this universe or in any other star or any other planet in this universe there's beings that we can't even imagine uh, carbon based or maybe there are beings that think but they don't have a conventional brain like how we have um, or maybe there's beings that uh, can survive in space or maybe there's beings that um, um, are alive but they don't they're sort of like jellyfish where they don't have eyes and um, they communicate you know through their brain or through uh, some kind of language uh, vibrations or whatever it might be, right? Even on our own planet, there's already animals um, and living things that communicate amongst each other in different ways than human beings do. So when we look into the universe, sometimes a lot of people say, oh, there's nothing out there, all with only ones and whatever, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe that. I don't believe that. And the reason I don't believe that is because we even have different species on our planet that sort of kind of represent the universe and hear me out when I mean say this is because if there's things a lot of people don't know that there's things on this earth that you don't even imagine like I mean you can't learn everything on earth but there's places in, the, in this earth in this world that look very very different like it's a different planet there's animals in this world that look like animals you've never seen before there's still animals that need to be discovered so that's the reflection of the universe if the earth is in the universe and part of the universe it's just another planet and a reflection of the universe so at some point we have to understand that our kids are going to go out here now when our kids go out here as far as what they tell us right there is over i think i wait i could be wrong about this i think it's over 100 billion galaxies right so in our galaxy alone there's hundreds of thousands of, of stars and um, um different planets and you know as we know even our, our own solar system planets that are close to us so when you even think about our galaxy let's not think about all the hundreds of billions of galaxies everywhere but let's think about just our galaxy and how big it is right the 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 uh, energy mass in the middle or sun or star whatever you want to call it in the middle of our galaxy is, uh, I forget how many, you know, how big they said it was, but it's a lot bigger than our sun. I mean, kajillion times bigger than our sun. There are planets in this universe that are super planets. I mean, super planets that it would, you could fit a hundred Earths or I think it's a hundred thousand Earths or something crazy in there. I mean, there's super planets to where it would take 
years to get around one planet. You know, some planets, I think, probably in this universe are probably so big, it might take thousands of years. I mean, it, I'm, I'm not saying that that exists, but it could, and that's the thing about the universe. With that being so said, Think about how big just our galaxy is. Think about all the races and all the species that exist in plants and food and all kind of things that exist in our galaxy. There could be another race, another intelligent race or whatever you want to call them that is dominating different planets and colonizing, colonizing different planets in the different part of the galaxy right now as we speak could be heading their way to Earth. Who really knows? But the thing about the universe is that it's so huge that it's so much space that there's there could be, let's say for instance, our galaxy is quiet, which I, it's so hard for me to believe that. I think there's other species in our galaxy on the other side of our galaxy that's doing things right now, that's colonizing planets right now, that may own 10 or 15 planets right now that are superpowers like, yo, we ain't found your planet yet, but if we do, yo, we coming to, to take it over. I mean, to smash it, I mean, truly. Or there could be other races right now that are just popping up out of nowhere, right? And and they're a new race that is just beginning. Or there could be a race that has been around for billions of years that is still here, that is way more advanced, and maybe didn't even explore this side of our galaxy, maybe moved on to the next galaxy, or maybe um, they left, or maybe they're at war with somebody that's uh, stopping them from exploring more of the galaxy. So when you think about the universe, there's so many different species and huge things and small things and minute things and things that might not make sense to to the average human being because the, we, the way we were taught and the superiority or, or the superior complex that we have and we think we have over the whole earth for one and the whole universe as well to think that we're the only people and we're very special and you know whatever and to be honest with you if you talk about the flip side to even you know, uh, um, give you the yin and yang side of it. I could be wrong. We could be the only people in the whole universe. It's very, 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 very hard for me to believe that with all these billions of stars and thousands of planets or billions of planets, but you never know. We could just be the only one. So I'm not saying that, that I'm 100% right, but for me as a human being, when I look and I look into the future and I look into the sky, I know that there's uh, crazy things out there because if there are different kind of gases and minerals and elements that are on different planets. That's already something that's different. Regardless if there's a, di a different living um, life form or whatever we think is living, right? Because really everything is really sort of in a way living. Even there is bacteria and stuff on rocks that you don't see in, you know, microscopic living things. But, you know, if we just think about it as new elements or just new things that are that don't exist on Earth, forget being scared of different species and how they'll look. Think about just elements and materials and um, energy sources that are not on Earth. Anything that's not on Earth in general, right, to a lot of us is alien. So if it's alien, then that means that when you find a mineral, you already found, uh, um, um, I don't wanna say alien life form, but you found an alien material or element or even maybe a life form that's not on Earth because, you know, there's probably bacteria and viruses everywhere in this universe. And there's probably a lot of bacteria and viruses that we think that we have it bad now with some things. When you get into the universe, there might be things that could kill you instantly when they get in your body or they kill, I mean, and there's things like that on Earth, I'm not saying that, but there's could be things way worse you know, way worse that we don't even know anything about. So when you're talking about the universe, you have to understand that there's a very, very vast place out here. And if we're talking about the universe, Earth is very small and very minute, and we shouldn't have such a big complex because our kids are even gonna look back at us in the way we even think, regardless of how we feel about it, right? Whether it be our ideologies of how we think, our religion, our way of life, how we went about doing things, it's all gonna be different. It's all gonna be different, you know? And they're gonna look back and be like, dang, what if they would have known this then, would they have done this? Or are we even gonna make it long enough in our own earth without destroying each other or polluting the earth or whatever it might be to where we would even get a chance to even leave this earth? Because even if we do bad things to this earth, the earth's gonna be here. Unless we ever develop something to where, you know, like the movies where you can get rid of planets, then maybe it won't be, or, you know, something like an asteroid or something like that. But just in general, as long, I mean, just in general, if we even kill ourselves off as human beings, the earth is still going to be here, right? And some other species is going to pop up that might not be humans or whatever it might be. So even on this planet, I think that a long time ago, there were different, this planet has been here for a very long time. And I think that there was, there's different, there's been different species, um, whether they be something like man, something not like man, whatever. And in the future, 
when we are gone, maybe we will all leave or maybe we will be here, but maybe we will go to different planets and maybe we'll have some kind of big uh, uh, disaster that happened on Earth where now humans are just on other planets and we're just passing down history of when we lived on Earth. So the universe is a very mass place. I talk about everything, I think about everything. So I just wanted to make um, this and talk to you guys about it because, you know, I think the universe is a very big place and there's gonna be a lot of amazing things that we're gonna see and we're gonna find. There's gonna be a lot of scary things that we're gonna see and we're gonna find that we're not gonna accept or we don't wanna accept. But at the end of the day, we're humans in this universe and we should be proud of that because as far as I know, we're one of a kind and maybe every species is one of a kind or maybe there's a spinoff of different species or maybe we're not even from this planet. Who really even knows, right? But I'm just saying from what I can see in the universe and from what people have studied that I've read or, 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 or documents that, documentaries that I've watched is that the universe is a huge place. Even if you don't want to believe what I'm saying or you don't think I, you don't have the same ideology and even the same religion, whatever, it doesn't matter. Throw that out the window. Just go out at night and look into space and just think. Just see, just think about what you see. And a lot of people that live in the major cities, it's hard because I know a lot of the lights drowned out. Um, even where I live, a lot of the lights drowned out the stars. So it's really, some, a lot of times you can't see the stars, but even take 20 or 30 minutes at a time and it's summertime or even if it's the winter or whatever, if it, you can do it, go do it and drive outside the city and look into the sky. I mean, really look into the sky and even maybe uh, try to buy a telescope or something like that, right? And look into the sky and just think about it. Just think about it. So anyways, I just want to say that, you know, there's going to be a lot of different human cultures that develop on different planets. There's going to be an evolution of humans, I feel, that humans are not going to be like this, um, you know, whether it be from cyborg, you know, which is like some body parts on humans, which actually, if you think about it, cyborgs already exist because you have humans that got their, that had their legs, um, you know, uh, amputated or blown off or whatever it might be, arms, and they have, um, well, I, I guess it's prosthetic. I guess you can't say it's cyborg because it's not really machinery. It's debatable, right? They have some that are, they have some that's not. But regardless, we already have things that relate to that subject or those type of uh, forms. And there will be androids down the road. I'm a car guy. They're already trying to make cars drive themselves already. I mean, even then, that's even like, oh, scary to me. Not, be, not necessarily because I don't want a car to drive itself. I mean, I don't really because I'm a car guy, but I feel like they're taking away from the actual involvement of sports cars, but that and as far as like how all technologies work, whether it be cars, uh, in the computer industry, in the software industry, um, in the um, hospital industry, whatever it might be, right, in the health industry. So we have to understand that when we go out into this universe, there's gonna be a lot of cultures that are going to thrive and there's going to be a lot of splitting of the human being. There's going to be um, human beings that are gonna have more uh, machinery in their body or nanotechnology, whatever it might be, even on Earth before we even leave here. And there's going to be humans that are going to, um, <laughs> people probably don't want to hear, but there's going to probably be human beings that are going to mate with other species outside of this world. Um, and I'm not trying to be nasty, but there's a lot of nasty things going on in there. There's already some people trying to do it, do it with other animals in this world. But I'm just saying there might be other species that can accept you know, the seeds of a man or get a woman impregnated and form other, you know, hybrid or subspecies, half human, half whatever. So all I'm saying is in the universe, nothing is impossible. And we have to think outside the box all the time. We can't just be so stuck in our human, you know, this is all we know, because if, like I said, if you don't believe anything anybody's saying about it, whatever you believe, you can always go out at night and look up into the stars and skies and ask yourself certain questions. So that's the end of my ramble about the universe. It's a big place. I'm very interested in the universe. I read a lot. I, I, I watch a lot of documentaries about huge planets, um, you know, where we might be uh, a thousand years from now, the technology that we'll have, um, you know, all kind of things that are going to happen and are happening right in front of us right now. It's just that it happens slowly. So you accept it. But when somebody talks about the future and the future, like so far in the future, it scares a lot of people. I mean, even me, I get scared sometimes, but when you talk about gradually accepting the future or gradually um, um, adopting the future or gradually implementing the future, people are okay with that because it's gradual. So they can still fill this phone and it doesn't have a screen that pops out of the phone. Well, in Japan, I think they have something like that. But, um, you know, you can still touch and fill this phone until one day, you know, it's just gonna be uh, something small where it's gonna be uh, pop up out of the phone and you'll be touching probably molecules in the air and it will be pushing 
you know, answer the call, yes, no, answer the call. And then at some point, I even watched something on uh, the TV the other day where people are trying to start to put um, um, but Bluetooth in their arm, in their head, in their head. I mean, as much as I look at that and I was like, wow, this is crazy. And I, I'm not ready for this and I'm not ready for, you know, that. It's something that you have to accept because that's where it's going. It's just, that's the next step for human beings and that's just where it's going. So the universe is an old age thing. The universe will always, um, um, I can't say always will be here, but it's been here for a very long time and I don't think it's going nowhere any anytime soon. So to the universe, even all the things that we're probably doing is old news, right? Or even new news, whatever it might be. I don't think there's a such thing as old or news with, new with the universe. It just is what it is. It's relevant. It's always relevant at this time. Even though I think that obviously there's, they're talking about the further out in space you go, um, it's older things that happen. Like there's planets that die and stuff like that. And basically I think, and I could be wrong about this, so don't quote me, but um, if I read something right, they were basically saying like the further you go um, out in the universe, the further back in time and stuff you go, all kind of crazy stuff. So anyways, today that's my vlog. And um, yo, as always, I'm out. Peace. What's up, what's up? Hey. Shalom. What up? Hi. Every day.